All right, guys, what you're looking at here is my HJC ARFA ST70 Grandel helmet. Now, when I first purchased this helmet, and I purchased it off of eBay, and it came brand new right out the box, and instantly when I put it on and went for a ride, uh, I noticed that the detents on it were not holding up the visor as it should. I mean, you lock it in place, and you reach about... 20, 30 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, whoop, this thing drops down, and I kept flipping it back up, and again, and at higher speeds, it was even it was even worse, you know, you get hit 60 miles an hour, and that's pretty much like cruising speed on, on the freeway, and yeah, this thing would just completely drop down. Now, I reached out to HJC via email uh, numerous times. The first time, I was promised that I would get new detents because I felt it was a detent issue. And uh, for those of you new riders out there who are you know, new to helmets and gear and whatnot, the detents are actually the little locking tabs that come in here. And this little round piece that you see here kind of glides and locks into place into each position. Now, I thought these were bad. They were worn out. And normally, when you have an older helmet, it tends to wear out and causing this loose visor issue where it just wants to drop down on its own. So reaching out to HJC, uh, they promised to send me out some new detents, which uh, they never did. I reached out to them again and again and again, and I just finally gave up. Now I had to figure out my own way to fix this issue because this was pretty annoying. You know, you pop open your visor to get some air in, and even if you're just cruising around, you know, you want to kind of want to stay up in place. You don't want to keep this open at high speeds, of course, because of the wind drag and the possibility of it, you know, whipping your neck around when it does catch. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unlock this right now. And the Arfa ST Grandel helmets, or these this series helmets has locking tabs right here where the, you can just push them back and it locks into place sometimes and which is allows you to release the visor now some of you may actually have bad detents and the detents right here like I said they're they get worn out the edges get worn out and the little mechanism right here um, the latching mechanism doesn't have a good grip in this groove and so it causes it to slip down to the next one so, a simple method to fix this, keeping this video short, is the issue, well, may be this, but the problem is the hole here is a little bit too big. And what we want to do is we want to correct that hole. So, this hole fits into this part right here and allows it to slide up and down. Now, I found a simple method that's going to allow you to resolve that issue and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go out to either Harbor Freight or wherever they sell these nitro rings now I'll do my best to find something online and and uh, post it up in descriptions for you if you're interested in purchasing a set yourself but uh, these rubber o-rings are great what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these o-rings and fix it to the inside of here so that it causes friction as it slides so I'm going to go ahead and pop this open And for my helmet, we're going to use the AO16 uh, O-ring right here. And it, there's a, a thinner gauge. Now, you, this, the set here does have a, a set of thicker gauges. It, it's good to buy the assortment pack because uh, yours might have a bigger hole in this area or it might have a thinner one. Now, this one I'm, that I'm using is relatively pretty thin. Now, the next one up, which would be the A115, as you can see, it's a little thicker than than the one I than I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there and I'm gonna grab out two from my kit here. And again, if you have this helmet, you're gonna be using the AO16 or whatever works for you. We're gonna go ahead and take that off, put that aside, and we're gonna place this inside here. There's one. And you're going to want to put it on both sides so that you have even drag all the way around. It makes a nice, tight, snug fit as we wrap it around. All right. So then once we got it in place, we're just going to go ahead and pop it back on the, on the visor and see what it does for us. Or pop it on the helmet, I should say. Now it's going to be a little snug to get in there. Uh, these are brand new rings, and over time they are going to wear out. Just an FYI, so you're gonna have to kind of push it in there and lock it into place. 
There's one. Let's go to the other side. Make sure the pin lock is in place. Two, snap it in. And there we go. Flip it back around. Nice and tight. All right. All right, guys, so this was a short, simple video on how to fix your loose visor. Do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you got another different way, go ahead and post it up in the comments. I mean, there's many ways to fix this aside from purchasing new detents. This is a, a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable, and you definitely have a lot of rings to fix this later on in the future. I hope you like this DIY. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out my new website. Uh, I'll post that in the links as well, and I'll post it up right here. The Chemist DIY Blogspot is your one-stop place where you can find all of my past and most recent video tutorials. Here, you can stay on top of my most recent posts as well as current projects that I'm working on. Each of my DIY projects are situated in a neatly categorized navigation bar and offer convenient drop-down menus to further drill into that subject's topic, if available. Within the body of the main pages is where you'll find my most recent postings on an image card, offering a brief synopsis of that video tutorial, as well as the category I have placed it in. Selecting the card of choice will bring you to that topics page, where you can find a quick breakdown of that topic, links to all the products used in the making of that video, as well as a built-in video player link to that video located on YouTube. Check out the site guys, leave me a post and let me know what you think. The link to my website can be found in the description section below. As always, I'm The Chemist and I'll see you next problem.